It is Monday night, and we are live in the Madhouse with the Maverick Soul, Tommy Marr. I have my very special guest sitting right over here to my right. But as usual, first of all, I'd like to wish everybody a uh, happy Memorial Day. I don't know why. Well, I shouldn't say happy Memorial Day because it's really not happy. Uh, I think we kind of got it a little messed up. But uh, I do want to send out everything that we got inside of us to all the veterans that have given us the right to have freedom to do whatever we want to do, to have to uh, be able to speak our minds and go and do whatever we want to do as we come and go as we please, which I really believe that this country takes for granted. Um, I know I went to my uh, town um, parade today, and I was actually happy because it was a lot more people than it was there last year. And uh, I can't say enough about supporting the veterans because, I mean, my God, go, you know, go live in Afghanistan or something, you walk out of your house, you get shot in the head. I mean, as opposed to going to the deli, you know what I mean? So, um, God, we could never thank these guys enough. Our blessings go out to you, your families, all the ones that gave up the ultimate price, their lives, just to protect us and let us live in freedom. So, uh, God bless our veterans. Please, everybody, say a prayer tonight before you go to bed or whatever it is that you do. Please, it would be, uh, it, it, is, it is heard up there, believe me. Uh, whether you believe it or not, I'm telling you, they hear it. So, so do something good for the vets. And, um, and I, I will be talking about them a little later because uh, my guest has a little thing going with them that actually has a big thing going with them. So uh, just um, please say a prayer for the veterans tonight. And um, God bless all you people that went out to the parades today and supported them because, I mean, when, as, when I was a kid, there were thousands of people. And that is, you know, maybe a hundred, you know. But uh, please. Uh, I also want to thank what a show we had last week. We had Andre LaSalle in here last week, and he brought in a crew. Uh, first of all, I think a tractor trailer pulled up with equipment, uh, and uh, it, was, it just kept coming and coming. And we had, uh, we had Alex Bronson, who uh, played uh, with uh, Living Color, uh, Laura um, Hill, Lauren Hill. Um, God, he, he, the guy has played with everybody. And then we had uh, Milag Milagro, I believe, with Julio and Peter and Juan from uh, the um, Santana Tribute Band. It was, like, incredible for all you guys that saw it. You know what I'm talking about. Andre was playing um, that acrylic guitar that George uh, made. Um, there's only eight in the world. And it, what a oh, the thing was so sweet. You heard that? It was awesome. It was, it was sweet. But uh, I can't thank you guys enough. And already um, Julio is coming back. And um, Alex is coming back with his band. Two un incredible bands. And actually, uh, Milagro, am I pronouncing that right? I believe so. Si, sí, Milagro. They are playing on uh, June 9th um, on a Sunday at the Sands Point Preserve. They're doing a Woodstock uh, show over there. So if you guys are around, we're going to be over there. So check that show out. And Andre, always look for Andre. Um, he's always around. We also will be doing a... Um, we're going to be doing a show with the Vanilla Fudge. We're going to be, I'm going to be doing interviews backstage with them at BB King's, I believe, the second week of June. So look ahead for that. That's going to be unbelievable. We'll have Carmine. Right, Carmine? Uh, he'll be there. Everybody will be there. Vince and um, everybody will be there. Um, so I, I want to just give you a little brief summary of what we're going to do tonight. Tonight we're going to it's, – it's a very special night because they're very special friends of mine. And um, what, what, what um, Matt came up with was the concept that he came up with was very good. I mean, they have a band called the Matt and Amy Band, which is very, very good on their own. But Matt and Amy came up with this concept that they wanted to bring some other people in. And then he said, let's make it a little bigger. And they reached out and they grabbed a lot of musicians from uh, Long Island. And uh, I don't know how many drummers they had and guitar players. And they had everybody playing horns and, you know. I even did two uh, singles. I did two vocals on the, on the album. Um, so it's, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk how Matt, put, Matt and Amy put this together. My man over there, Vendana, um, he was a big part of that. Uh, you played on every track, right? Pretty much. Yeah. So um, when we're going we're gonna to cut to a quick commercial, and when we come back, we're going to talk to the Matt and Amy band. And all you Woodstock people, you know him. You know him. I dragged him up there last year. He played with me at Hector's. 
uh, in the rain. Well, we played at Yazgur's yeah, in the rain. Roy. Oh, and uh, yeah. that was great, though, wasn't it? That was and, uh, memories of my life, kiddo. That was great. So we'll be talking about that. We'll be talking about a lot of things coming up, and uh, we'll be right. We're going to take a quick commercial, and we'll be right back at the Madhouse with the Maverick Soul. So hang in there. Get yourself tight. Get yourself right, because this is the place to be on a Monday night. Coming back. Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, fire rated from a half hour to two hours, famous name brands. We sell guard all. We sell AMSAC. The new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. Right, Lockie? That's right, Alan. When your cable's on the fritz, you get frustrated. When you get frustrated, your daughter imitates. When your daughter imitates, she gets thrown out of school. When she gets thrown out of school, she meets undesirables. When she meets undesirables, she ties the knot with undesirables. And when she ties the knot with undesirables, you get a grandson with a dog collar. Don't have a grandson with a dog collar. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. When your cable company keeps you on hold, you get angry. When you get angry, you go blow off steam. When you go blow off steam, accidents happen. When accidents happen, you get an eye patch. When you get an eye patch, people think you're tough. When people think you're tough, people want to see how tough. And when people want to see how tough, you wake up in a roadside ditch. Don't wake up in a roadside ditch. Get rid of cable and upgrade to DirecTV. Call 1-800-DIRECTV. You know you already want a Toyota, but when you want more from your Toyota store, you want Smithtown Toyota, where every Toyota comes with Smithtown Toyota's Toyota for Life program, giving you lifetime New York State inspections, lifetime 10% discounts on all parts and service, two years of complimentary oil changes, two years of scheduled maintenance, and more, all at no cost to you, plus low clear-out deals on every Toyota in stock. Get more from your Toyota store. Hurry to Smithtown Toyota. All right, we are back with the Maverick Soul in the Madhouse. I also want to uh, say hello to all our Woodstock people out there. How are you? Um, and I'd like to just get into our guests right now. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I would like to introduce the Matt Namey Band. Yay, now, days. I will start over here on my extreme right, Mr. Lat Matt Levine. Matt. <laughs> Matt. They call slap, me Matt. Matt, Matt. Matt, Matt Slap. Uh, Matt Levine. Amy Shula, Vin Dana, and Tony Russo. See that? I that was easy. That was very, that was very good. So, talk to me, guys. Well, we're here to promote the album. Thank, we did that on your radio show the other day. It was good. Thank you for having me and Vinny up there. We had a lot of laughs. It was fun. It was fun. But uh, this album was, is just, uh, like you said, Long Island musicians. I'm a big advocate of Long Island music, you know, and I, I feel that um, most people, when they put out their first album, it's always about them and about themselves. And, which, we, you know, we could have done that. We could have went that route and did, did that self-indulgent kind of thing. But understandable. But understandable, you know. <laughs> that's the next one. The next one's going to be a Me, Me, Us, Us album. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. But, um, a, well, it's good, though. It's a good intro. Right. It's a good intro. And, and, it's, and you're giving <laughs> But I wanted to promote, lots of pizza I wanted to promote yeah. Long Island music. It's I wanted to jelly. promote, you know, yeah. to show that there is really great talent. I'm not talking about, all, like, Billy Joel guy, that kind of stuff. I'm talking about local talent that people normally wouldn't get a chance to see. Well, uh, like, that's what I'm doing on a radio show. Right. I'm bringing on bands that people aren't getting a chance to hear. Exactly. And that, give them a shot. Right. You know? So we have, um, on the album, we, it's, all of, it's all Matt and Amy's songs. Vin plays, Vin's been with us for now, what, two years now? And he plays bass on all the tracks. Um, I'm the only guitar player I play because I, I tried to get guitar players, but you know, you know how they are. <laughs> and um, Amy sings all, on, on, on all the tracks. And we got uh, the great Ed Modell from Motu, who used to play with us. Ed, Ed. Shout out to Ed. Ed. We love you, buddy. 
Um, we have uh, Paul Andrew Jack on drums also on, on a couple of on three or four tracks. Uh, he's from a band called Andrew Jack, great band. Also owns PMA Studios. And uh, this is guy's from Suffolk Horns, the great True Doty, Greg Charles from Less Is More and Mad Co. Um, a lot of different people are on the band. It's so funny, man. A lot of different people. I, you know, I believe in just bringing it all to the fold. You know, it, it, it's, it's, what, what it was for me was like hearing other people interpret my music. That's really, really what it came yeah, down to. That was cool. And give them, give them a chance to, you know, know what it's like to, to play other people's stuff. Because there's not a lot of original music on there. Do we go to the bars and play covers? Yes, we do. You have to. Because that, that's what I'm trying to do, is trying to find an outlet for original bands on Long Island. And you know what? As I said, as, as it is to say, there are none. I, I don't think anybody can name me one club. And if you can, call in or type in that little box where you type in. I can. Where? Well, yeah, where? The Maverick Soul Hour, well, yeah, right here, yeah. right I'm, now. I'm talking about, I'm talking about a club. Every club wants to, yeah. the, every bar owner wants to know how many people you could bring. If I knew how many people I could bring, I'd, I'd be well, a freaking millionaire. We all know that. You know, and you got to play covers, but there's so much good original music out there. Oh, I also forgot to mention True Doty too. He plays keyboards. Did I mention him? I did. So. And um, the Suffolk Hornets, uh, Victor Portez and Eric Alterac play trombone and trumpet on there. And, and, and Paul. And and Paul and and oh. and Amy's nephew, Mikey Shula, from a great kid. What are these kids are musical genius. I saw him play out uh, at the. He, he he played saxophone. Right. He, but he plays bass exactly. and guitar. He's like. Yeah. A, he's a I music. saw him play the guitar too. Yeah, he's like my music. He's like my musical inspiration. This yeah. kid, really good. I mean, it's all. Like a prodigy. These, yeah, he's a prodigy. All these, all these great musicians. We have Tony playing with us tonight, and um, everything's gonna. Everything is. Just, I just like to bring everybody into the fold. You know, uh, if you want to follow me, that's fine. If you, if you want to go, and you'll never make any money, or you'll never get any recognition playing covers unless you're in a tribute band. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I mean, as good as as the people that I look up to, like Godfrey Townsend, um, Amber, they they're all they're all on the cusp. You know, they're all on the cusp, but yet they're not over that. that well, Godfrey is. Well, God, I'm, well yeah, but he's still yeah. playing. Yeah, I've he heard his, you played his original album, and it was amazing. Right. It was amazing. I it know. was better than anything he's right. done and with no any one, band. Right. Sorry, Godfrey, if you're listening, yeah. that's how I feel. It was but, better but, than but anything he's done with any band. He is on tour now with the Sons of Cream. Yeah. Which, and he's doing... Um, the um, Hippie Fest, which is yeah, now, well, I think, uh, together again. Yeah, well, Godfrey's big You know, I'm not... That's happy not, together. That's not what I'm saying. No, but I mean, he's playing with Ginger Baker's son and Jack Bruce's son. I mean, that's... Right, yeah. That's that's, 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 that's kudos to him, you know. And, and, he, and, and he played with John Entwistle Band for 10 years. Well, yeah, years. I know that because I know, I, I know John Entwistle <laughs> bass tech, uh, yeah. Joe Lancia. Remember Joe? That was years ago. And, no, uh, Godfrey's... Uh, but, like, Godfrey's awesome. But he's our like, like Clapton. We're all not Godfrey. You know, we all don't have... We all don't have that kind of pull and punch. And what I like to see is a, 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 a venue that features just the original music, like in Manhattan. You could go anywhere and hear guys play original music. There's no real place on Long Island where, where it says original music. You're absolutely right. Everything's got to be, you know, they want to hear Barracuda. They want to hear somebody screaming Chain of Fools. They want to hear, they want to hear, um, they want to hear songs that they listen to on the radio. Well, you, want, you know, I mean, that's who, you know, that's who goes to bars, the soccer moms, and, you know, they want to... Yeah, I, I know, yeah. but we need a venue. That's the no, I agree with you. I we're going to play you. a few gigs. We're gonna, I, I'm, right now we're doing a lot of benefits, but we're going we're, we're, we're to play a few gigs. We're going we're gonna, we're gonna to be bouncing around here and there. But um, we like to really push the original stuff. Do we play covers? Yes. But we play covers our way. You know, right. you'll know the song, but we do them the Matt and Amy way. Well, that's good. Everybody puts their little spin on it. Tony puts a little spin on it. Vin puts his little flavor on it. Amy and me have been together for like 30 years, playing and singing and writing. And it's, you know, we write from the heart. We write what we feel. Um, you could come see a show on Monday night. and listen Not on to Monday a, night. A, a song. Well, you know what I'm saying. On a Friday night, you could come to a bar and listen to us on a Friday night and hear us play, let's say, Dragging It On. And then you could come to Saturday and listen to us play Dragging It On. It's not going to sound anything like it did Friday night. No. You know, it's going to be a totally different animal. Like Zeppelin. Right. Yeah, right. They, they never sounded the same. Never. Right. And never. We, we like to, uh, you know, experiment. You know what I mean? Do, would I like to have a, a, a mass of people follow us? Yeah, of course, who wouldn't? But I'm more, I like, I like them to know, know us for our songs, not well, for, you know, well, these guys play a wicked, I'm your captain or something. Well, you're you know? doing it from your heart. Yeah. So. And if that's what makes you happy, that's what you should do. Yeah. You know? You know, so, and these guys, I, you know, these guys 
put out what I, what I hear in my mind. When I write a song, I write in 32 tracks. Amy lays down vocals. She writes the lyrics to some songs and helps me finish other songs and says, you know, Matt, this sounds like crap. You know, let's, let's put this in there. And, and it just, everything works out. Vinny puts his bass lines in there and the drummer, and Tony puts his little flavor on top of it. And, you know, he's just been playing with it, just like practice one time with us. And it's right. just, everything, that's what I'm saying. Everything just, you know, from, everything just fell into place. You know, it just, it just was, the, the comfortability factor of us playing as a band is what really. Well, I mean, so the, so the viewers are understanding this. So I, I think I'm going to do you justice by saying this, but what, he, what, what they tried to do was actually they had these original songs that they've had for years, and most of them you've had for years. Exactly. And they played them on the road, and they played them in many, many, many venues and stuff. And uh, Matt came up with this concept, and Amy, and they come up with this concept to, you know, let's see what some other people can do with our stuff. And, you know, it'll be fun. And, and it was a great way of showcasing these talented people that are out there that aren't really being showcased. And uh, I think it was a very, very great thing from your heart to do. And, I mean, it really, it really was Thank a great you. idea. And I, I think uh, everybody involved in it had, had some fun. And, uh, and, I, and, and, I mean, I'll give you my example of it was, I mean, Matt sent me the, the, I, the day he calls me up. I, Bus did you know what I was going to say? <laughs> yes. But I have to say it. I mean, he, the, day of the, the day he calls me, he says, we got to record the vocals today. I said, Matt, I've never even heard the song. So he <laughs> says, I'll send you the music. So he sends me the music. He doesn't send me the, the, the lyrics. So I go, how about the lyrics? He sends me the lyrics. I drive all the way out to the studio. The guy's <laughs> waiting for us. Get in the booth. I get in the booth. Put the headset on. I got the sheet in front of me. I'm kind of listening to it like five times on the way there. And, uh, but it's Matt. Matt singing it, so now I'm trying to interpret it my way. And uh, you then I get job, in the booth, the and they turn the music on. It's completely different music. It's <laughs> nothing I've ever heard before. And I go, what, right. what is this? So That's right. That's it was, but it, but it, but it worked. It came out first, as first good one, as it was ever going to come see, out. You know, first under, song he sang was was first. He first, I don't know, the first, first take, take. done. First take done. And then the second song, what did he take? Two takes, and that's but that was the point. Exactly no, but what it was, he said. That's what it, that's what I mean. It, and 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 it was it's getting other people's interpretation of your music, which you got to sometimes sit back. Hey, that was pretty cool, or, or that sucked, or whatever. But right, right. it's still cool to hear someone how they're interpreting. It, right. I would think you on know? some tracks because have... I mean, like like Vince Martel, I wrote a song, and now he's gonna re, he's gonna record the song. Awesome. So I can't wait to hear. What he, what he does to it. He has it in his head because I said, right. I'm not saying anything. You do whatever you want to do with it. That's you what, that's what so it's all about. I, I'm very anxious and, and looking forward to that. I'm looking forward so to it. I don't want to hear it. So, I want to hear um, the first one. Yeah. Amy, what do you have to say about this whole situation? Oh, which situation? I mean, were you, in, in were, you, <laughs> were you in with it right from the get go? I've been with it since I'm 14. No, I, I mean, with the people. sharing your first album? and. Uh, um, I was fine with whatever. Whatever he wants to do. We, we recorded the songs. Different over no, the years, I, we've recorded it one way. Then a couple of years later, we'll record it again. Right. And, and well, I mean, I've seen you many times, and and yeah. and like he Changed said, you do do it different, which is great because I mean, it well, keeps your I got audience older too. So my it keeps your audience too, entertained, so and uh, like they never know what they're gonna get. It's like that yeah. box of chocolates, you know what I mean? As long as it's refined. Yeah, as long as it's dark yeah. But that's chocolate. That's cool. Okay. That's <laughs> and there's no but jelly beans. She said the magic word. They've recorded these songs professionally. Right. You got a copy of one that you had to oh, learn, yeah. but it wasn't the same one. <laughs> right. This last album was like a kaleidoscope. Right. It was like an at LSD trip. But know? we all we all expect it's that from Matt, though. Well, maybe you're in New Orleans. <laughs> right. Maybe you're you're like in Bayonne. 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 <laughs> 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 you did a great job on that. I know you like to say that you didn't have much time, but <clears> that made it even better. It was well, fun. You, it was fun. It shows that you, that you really are a good, a great musician. I mean, I need practice for... I need a schematic. I need a, a tape. Well, we've had drummers in the past that, my God, I don't want to knock anybody, but it was like, who's breaking for commercial? Yeah, we got to take a uh, quick, take we're going to take a quick break, so Save hang in the there. We'll be right back with <laughs> the Maverick Soul wild. in the Madhouse. <laughs> right you back. can't wind him up. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. 
Uh, hmm. uh, Ray, I don't know. Are you sure clicking this thing will get us online? Well, try dragging it. Hmm. Faster. You're just a mouse click away from a better way to rent movies. Blockbuster Total Access. Movies through the mail plus movies through the store. One low price. Here's the problem. We forgot to plug it in. Oh, don't even think about it. Get a free trial at your Blockbuster store or Blockbuster.com. This is Beth. Hi. Hi. Oh, congratulations. When are you due? I'm not pregnant. Oh, look at that. Excuse me. You're totally thin. You look very sexy. For life's bleachable moments, all it takes is three quarters of a cup. Hey, I'm Tom Mealy. I'm with Madhouse TV. This guy just walked up the steps. I don't know. What, the, what, what is the story with you? I'm Who comedian Frank Prince. Hey, what the hell do you want here? I want my own reality TV show. You think you're funny enough? Hell yeah. Well, how much money you got? Short arms and deep pockets. You think you can make it? I'm the Myron J. Show. You think? I think. All right. I know. We're going to give him a shot this spring here on Madhouse TV. Tune in and wait for... Frank Prince, the Myron J. Show. There you go. We'll see you this spring. We've got a ton of new shows coming up. My pal Frank Prince, great comedian. Wait to see him. Tune in to Madhouse TV this spring. Have a wonderful day. Oh, boy. Live television is great. Well, <laughs> we just found out that uh, Vinny's um, battery was dead, so you were saying, Vin. <laughs> <laughs> I guess it's working now. Maybe you ought to... Where is it? Yeah? Don't, don't okay. grab it. All right. I just, I'm not used to have it. It's like dangling. It's like a, like a cicada Come on, on. me. You know? <laughs> I'm like an attack. What was we saying? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you were saying about people's interpretations of the song. No, it's a good album. You know, it's different. If people right. listen to the album, they're going to enjoy it. And uh, but when they come to see us, it's going to be a different experience. It's you realize there's a singer and three musicians. It's not a big. There's no keyboards and there's no horns. Yeah. It's but you. It's just as dynamic. Just you know, with just three musicians and a singer, it's it's just as dynamic. Maybe even more. And it's just, it's, it just builds you up. I got to give my hats off to they both. They write good music. And uh, when I came into this band, I was, a, I'm, I was determined to make sure that they could at least get a fair shot at bringing these to the public and building some kind of a following. I think building a following, you got to think differently. We're not playing with eight tracks no more. I think you got to make it like, I know that's why country music seems to be doing good because they could throw a line dance in there. So that even if you don't care about the music, you could get your fat amp, amp to go and dance. Well, wow, could, this is great. You could go nah, 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 nah. Everybody's kicking and <laughs> having a great old time, you know. What are they going to do? Drink so they could get a DWI, you know, when they walk out the door. But maybe if we make it more of a social thing where we start with our friends, let our friends bring their friends. Right. And make it where, like, hey, it's like it's like a, like a bingo night. Yeah. Come out and see the Matt and Amy band. You'll have a good time. The people are all the same birds of a feather. And uh, the music's really good. And we really put our hearts into it. We, we cater to people in the audience that, that are mu musically talented, right. that have a passion for getting away. For me, even if they never sung. Or, or played an instrument. Matt will have them come up. He's got that much confidence in the rest of the band that will amplify this person, make them sound good, make them have a great time. They'll never forget. Big, audi big audience participation. You know, I, I feel that. Not to the point where it's an open mic yeah, night. Right. But, Free for all. We set aside, a, you know, like 20 minutes of a show and bring people up. And they're like, you come up and play. Yeah, yeah, you know what it's like. You know? No, it's fun. It's a fun night. And Tony does. And, and Tony, looking forward to playing with him. For a long time. One of the things about being in this band, I'm obviously the new guy, but Matt has had these songs recorded, but he said, Tony, just listen to them once and make them your own. So right off the bat, he gave me the inspiration to do what I have to do. 
and it's all about feel. You know, oh, it's yeah. about you know, and you know, you're a musician. It's about <coughs> feel. So right off the bat, I've been in bands in the past where they have a structure they want you to follow, and Matt note just said, Tony, note. do what you have to do. It's going to be great. And we sat down, we rehearsed one night, and it was just that chemistry, and we just, you know, we just hit it off. Well, and I mean, that that's like last, last week we had these guys in here. I mean, and I know that they were just going to jam and have a good time, but I, when I went back home and watched the show over, I was telling Janine, I said, you want to see how professional these guys are? Watch the whole percussions, oh, the three percussionists. Phenomenal. All they watched was Andre's hands. Now, how, what percussionist watches the guitar player's hands? That's how good these guys were. They after were that show, I was home. I, I was after that show. I was home doing stuff on Facebook, surprisingly, and um, not playing words with friends. But um, and all of a sudden, a little thing clicked up. You know, the, the friend request, and I click, I clicked it on. It was Andre. Right. And we just started talking. And I was like, Listen, I was watching you. I've been playing guitar now 40 years. And I'm still learning, and I, I'm watching that man. And I want to say to Andre personally that, that thank you for my heart for friend requesting me. It was an honor just to. Well, I mean, the week before that, Andre called me up and he said, Tommy, would you mind if I come down when Vince was coming on? And he said, I'm not bringing my guitar. He said, I just want to sit well, the there play, and get right. a lesson. I just watched him. I, said, I, I want to get a lesson. No, he wanted a lesson from Vince. So, I mean. Hey, Vince was amazing. If you ever think Vince you've got enough, you, you're wrong because you, yeah. there's always another if day. You, if you think you've learned it all. Yeah. It'll you never might as well just put the instrument down and pick up needlepoint or those paint by number things. And it's a never ending process of learning. Yeah. Yeah. And the feeling of playing with good musicians that are equal counterparts Nothing and the like creativeness it. that you could just go off and zone out in, it's just amazing. There's, the sky's the limit, really. It's a, it's a, great, it's a great feeling. I, I love it's, it. Well, you know, he sees me smiling all the time. It's euphoric. You know. it's, when, it, when it's right, it's, you actually get euphoric. I mean, you, you know, it doesn't happen often. But I mean, when it happens, it I feels really good. I spent the whole really weekend at, in Maryland at the, at the Dell Fest, Del McCrory, and there was some, Trey Anastasio was there. I mean, there were some great people there, but you, you saw the way the crowd reacted to their songs, and that's what I want. Well, if I didn't I could, like your reactions. I saw your reactions. And well, that's because I was sleeping good. in a tent. It was 28 freaking degrees. <laughs> I, had a, I had like a blanket, a comforter. I've seen was, a lot of whining going yeah, on yeah, on yeah, Facebook. It was, it was like a, yeah. <laughs> The music was great, and the people were great. Amanda, I want to go home. Becky, Alan, Chris, I love you all. Thank you for having me with you. And, and there were some really good local pickers up there. I was playing dobro and mandolin and banjo. I was like in string heaven. But at night, kill me. Shoot me in the head. Maddie, don't camp. Well, listen, um, there's a couple of things I want to get in, because I want you guys yeah. to get up and play live. And I'm sure everybody at home wants to see the same. But um, there are a few things I want to ask. Number one, where and how do they get the album? Okay, the album will be out in two weeks. Okay. We just, it's all done. We just have to get the pictures and all the artwork done, and it'll be out in about two weeks. figure out how to do that. I have to figure out how to do that because this makers is giving me a hard time. Frank, this makers, if you're listening, and I know you are, I'll get it to you. But you want these little specs, and I'm not a graphic choreographer, you know. But the album will be sold on CD Baby on iTunes. It's CVS by the Preparation H. It came out. It's Pathmark. Anywhere I, can, anywhere I can put a stand up, that's where you can buy the album. Mostly online like everybody else. You can catch us on, fa- on our Facebook fan page and Reverb Nation and vandalism. We got a lot of vandalism. All right. Um, I just want to show you a little something here now, which is very dear to my heart. I don't know how well you can see this, but uh, I just want to hold it for a second, and then I'll explain it. Okay? All right. Now, for all you guys that know us here at Madhouse, Vince Martell from the Vanilla Fudge has been here a couple of times. He loves the place. He'll be back again with some even – it'll be more amazing, which is hard to believe. But Vince is a big, big advocate of uh, this group called uh, Three Hots in a Cot, which simply means that the veterans that come home after protecting our freedom, they're being treated – they're being treated like garbage, in my opinion. They're living under bridges. They're living in the woods. They're living in sleeping bags. And meanwhile, we got guys going to Home Depot, picking up guys in the trucks. Pick up a veteran. Give them a job. You know what I mean? Do something for somebody that allows you to go to work every day. Rather than, you know, and I'm not being prejudiced in any way or form. But, you know, if me personally, if I have a choice of one, two, or three, or whatever, I'm going to take a guy that just just went over there and maybe lost a limb or something trying to sa- save my freedom. So, you know, the name of this group is called Three Hots in a Cot, which I'm sure you've heard me talk about before. 
And, and Matt and I were talking about it, and when Vince was on the show, Matt gave me a call and said, listen, you know, I would like to do something, you know, a benefit to uh, help out three hots in a cot. So Matt put this together, which I'm very, very happy, very happy, and uh, with Vince's blessings. And actually, um, I w when the show is over, I'm going to play a, a, a voicemail for you. Vince is in Alabama now with these guys doing oh, a awesome. big benefit for three hots in a cot. And he had them all on the phone the other night, left me a voicemail. I mean, I was actually crying. Oh. I mean, literally crying. It's such a I mean, you mean, look at this picture even. I mean, these we, guys should not be living under bridges, people. They should not be living under bridges. One they, out of every four vets that come home are, are, are homeless. They come home homeless. They come home jobless. They come home with PTSD. They come home with all sorts of ailments that they cannot get any help for. And the government has a funny way of... of of loopholing all this stuff where they should be able to get their benefits and stuff. We lose one veteran every, every hour, hour from suicide. Guys, it, it this police. is not right. It be, it's it be not police. right. I don't care about anything. It's not right. And it's all of our faults. The sheep have to say, eh, enough. You know, let's take care of these guys, okay? So that's what I, that's my feelings on that. And if Anybody doesn't like it, I really don't care. So um, three hots in a cot. So Matt put this together, which is going to be on June 22nd at 8 o'clock, and it's going to be a singer-songwriter benefit right. for three hots in a cot, and it's going to be at a club called Good Friends, Good Friends, 625 Mastic Road, Mastic Beach, New York. I believe it's only a $10 donation, yep. and even if you don't have 10 and you have five, if you have five they don't whatever care. Whatever you can bring. Anything you can bring, and if you can bring more, and if, you have a, if you're a big hitter and you, you know, throw a few bucks in there for God's sure. sakes. I mean, really that, is. I mean, you're allowed to have that money in your pocket because of these guys right here. That's why you can have money in your pocket. All you big guys on Wall Street and all that. Dig down. Even and, I did uh, four years in the Navy. You know, I did my time for the. You know, I, I was in. I was in, in the in the in the Persian Gulf when the, they had the hostages in Iran. Right. We were there, we were there 144 days on on the aircraft carrier. You know, on 100. Vinny's ass is talking. <laughs> That's Vinny. You can You know, it's actually me talking, talking in there. All right. Listen. Uh, I can't say it enough. Three hots in a car. <laughs> please come to this benefit, please. Even please, if you don't please. come, send a check. We'll get it to yeah. Vince Montel and Three Hots There's in a Cot. There's also a link to the actual Three Hots in a Cot. There's a link on the event page. Okay. You can hit, hit on that link. It'll take you right. If you hit on that link, it'll take you right to the, to the section of Three Hots in a Cot website. So you know where your money's going. So you know that it's going to help these people. You know, and that's what we have to do. We have to help All them. right. America, take care of America. Take care of the people that take care of you. So we're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back, and these guys are going to play live right here yeah. in the Madhouse. So we'll be right back with the Married yeah. Soul. Hang in there. Keep tight. We'll be right back. Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. We have three of the largest showrooms of safes on display and in stock. You can see and touch them in person instead of browsing a catalog. We carry gun and rifle safes, burglary safes, jewelry safes, fire rated from a half hour to two hour. Famous name brands. We sell guard all. We sell AMSAC. The new AMSAC touchscreen. If you're ever in need of a safe, think Brooklyn's best locksmith and hardware. Right, Lockie? That's right, Alan. You know you already want a Toyota, but when you want more from your Toyota store, you want Smithtown Toyota, where every Toyota comes with Smithtown Toyota's Toyota for Life program, giving you lifetime New York State inspections, lifetime 10% discounts on all parts and service, two years of complimentary oil changes, two years of scheduled maintenance, and more, all at no cost to you, plus low clear-out deals on every Toyota in stock. Get more from your Toyota store. Hurry to Smithtown Toyota. For professional motorcycle transport and towing, think Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. Proudly serving all of Long Island, we feature expert handling and 24-7 service. So send a limo for your toy with Kickstart Fabrications Motorcycle Towing. One resident describes her horrifying experience when she first realized the complex was on fire. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. 
motorcycle transport and towing think kickstart fabrications motorcycle towing proudly serving all of long island we feature expert handling and 24 7 service so send a limo for your toy with kickstart fabrications motorcycle towing you know you already want a toyota but when you want more from your toyota store you want smithtown toyota where every toyota comes with smithtown toyota's toyota for life program giving you lifetime new york state inspections lifetime 10 percent discounts on all parts and service two years of complimentary oil changes two years of scheduled maintenance and more all at no cost to you plus low clear out deals on every toyota in stock get more from your toyota store hurry to smithtown toyota Hey, I'm Tom Mealy. I'm with Madhouse TV. This guy just walked up the steps. I don't know what the what. What is the story with you? I'm Who comedian Frank Prince. Hey, what the hell do you want here? I want my own reality TV show. You think you're funny enough? Hell yeah. Well, how much money you got? Short arms and deep pockets. You think you can make it? I'm the Myron J. Show. You think? I think. All right. I know. We're going to give him a shot this spring here on Madhouse TV. Tune in and wait for. Frank Prince, the Myron J. Show. There you go. We'll see you this spring. We've got a ton of new shows coming up. My pal Frank Prince, great comedian. Wait to see him. Tune in to Madhouse TV this spring. Have a wonderful day. We are back. Live in the Madhouse, and I couldn't be prouder. It's really great when you get to introduce good people and good friends, and I hopefully can say that these people are good people and my friends. Yeah, so, do. ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you, the Matt <laughs> and Amy Band, and please check out their benefit show, okay? Go get them, guys. All right, thank you. Like I said, like Tommy said, thank you for the coming into the Madhouse and listening to us, all the people on the... Internet, type it away, Vinny, Tony, Amy, me. I'd like to say a special shout out to uh, Becky, Amanda, and Olivia from, uh, and then Chris from Delfest. I had real fun with you guys. Uncle Jerry loves you and misses you.
Go, go!
past the dealer's sake
putting down on the bench. I am Matt. And me, I'm Matt for me. I think the mic's out. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're coming to an end again, and I can't thank you guys enough for coming in. I mean, it was a pleasure, and uh, please buy the album, but also, Three Hots in a Cot, important. very important. Let's do the right thing by our veterans, please, 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 because June 22nd, June 22nd at 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock. Guy Abbey. Um, I'm there's going to be like Henry, Henry and Christy Diaz. You missed one. Who? Most important in my book. Oh, and the lovely and talented Jamie Schuler. <laughs> Amy's daughter, who's just like her mom, trust me. Oh, I'd like to also say congratulations to Ed Motzel's daughter, graduating at uh, Five Towns. Congratulations. Maybe we can get you a job at the Madhouse. Yeah. yeah. Sydney release party. And good going, Ed and wife. Very good. All right, so listen, we're going to have a great show next week. We had a great show tonight. It's getting better and better every week. More people, more people, more people. So please have a blessed week. Stay safe. Be kind to each other. Peace to everybody. God bless. And we'll see you next week at the Madhouse with the Maverick Soul. And thank you to the Matt and Amy Band. It was my extreme pleasure to have you guys here. We love you. And we'll see you soon. So we'll see you next week right here in the Madhouse. Ha, ha, ha.